God damn, me and Jamie been here since 8 o'clock. You ain't give us a heads up, say, hey, hey fellas, I'm gonna be a little late, take care of some business right now. You already know they're gonna be like, why that? For real. No, you know, sometimes the money don't be fucking up, they just be having that, that block at the end. Yo, welcome to the Count Dead Podcast. It's your neighborhood middleman, Slim Key. I'm here with my boy, Devin HB. Yeah. I got Jay Leonard, a judge, in the building tonight. <coughs> we got Devin Lay on the soundboard tonight. We got the beautiful some more with us. How you doing, Samoa? Yeah. That's good. That's good. All right, man. First off, I'm taking it off tonight. Devin, you late? Late as hell, so we're starting <laughs> a little late tonight. I'm doing it late. That's a hard word to say. <laughs> when you say that, Jay, niggas like, you gotta slow down and say that. Nigga trying to be different? Like, what the fuck is this? If for real, if you think about it too, too hard, you will fuck that drum up. Say it again, bro. You the first nigga I heard say that drum. Hey, but uh, <laughs> shit, let's go ahead and get into uh, some real news, man. Lil Mosey, Lil Mosey. Yeah. Mosey, Mosey, what's his name? Mosey. Mosey. One bad man is gonna do what I say so. Mm-mm-mm. And a big ass Draco. <laughs> that, that jump. Okay. Yeah, man. Get it. Make sure it's very fizzy. Do the big ass Draco. Yeah, he wildin' out this bitch. Oh, yeah. I'm wildin'. Yeah, yeah, I'm wildin'. He wildin'. Cause one day it's like a kid's bottle. Do the big ass Draco. Made that day into a Yeah. Yeah, that's what it's a weird Now nah, that's, bruh. But did you read that? The, the, the joke, the article? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I read it, but I ain't, like, I ain't go, like, deep dive into it and go, like, look up, like, so, the official, official What shit. they said is she basically gave her consent in the car, and then when she get in the crib, she blacked out and woke up and bro was stroking that joke. Oh, yeah, I heard but that. But then after that, uh, Another nigga was stroking that jank, apparently. Yeah, she backed out and another nigga was stroking her. Ain't gonna lie, that's, that's my mind. And then she woke up. Like, yeah, when I seen that jank, I was like, ooh. And then after that, it was like, she woke up again and he was talking about training. Bro, that ain't good, bro. That ain't good, bro. I don't, bro, what, what niggas be getting into, bro? After you get money, bro, and you bro, get to a certain level of, like, fame, bro. You, you know what niggas be getting into? Is it that level of fame? Isn't that of abundance when you yeah. got money? And, and since we on this joint, y'all heard of, uh, um, I'm about to get a little dark, but y'all heard of uh, um, the YouTuber that got caught up? Who? Uh, What's his name? Uh, bro, I, I really just found out about bro, bro, when uh, the news broke out. I think his name, um, eat, eat that pussy. So it's uh, <laughs> EDP. I think it's EDP. Oh, the black dude? Yeah, the big black dude. Bro, he got caught up on some wild shit too, on some uh, like messaging. Uh, yeah, yeah, bro, and like the niggas, some niggas that be doing like some to catch a predator shit. They caught this nigga on some wild shit and had like a dead ass like an hour interview, not an interview, bro. Right? Right. Like, like, shit, man. Yeah. yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, he fucked. It's a uh, whole big brother. He got the pay with the screenshots, bro. He, bro, they had everything, bro. Them, for real? Huh? What you supposed to do for a living? I just thought about that when you said, go to jail. Go to jail. Yeah, go to jail. That's your living. Yeah. Yeah, we got to get you off the streets. For sure. They might go to jail after that. I mean, until until they feel like you rehabilitated, nigga. Until you until you done doing what you done doing, nigga. We will never know. You feel me? Some shit like that, bro. That's a tricky situation. Because, you know what I mean? You really never know if niggas rehabilitated. Or niggas just playing a certain role until they get out. Sure. But um, yeah, you got some niggas like that to jail, bro. Can't yeah, get him out of He wild, crossing the line, bro. And then, like he said, bro, it's 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 niggas like that, bro, with the fame and then uh, the blue check on the Instagram. You feel me? That just be wild. I'm like, like bro, why y'all not messing with Instagram models? Yeah, like, why y'all not Instagram? using y'all fame and? Y- y- Y'all, y'all star attraction to, to attract other stars. You feel me? To it's attract it's people it's that's on your level. Bro, uh, you know that don't matter. Facts. You get a blue check on Instagram, bro. That shot is in your DM automatically. You usually get a 600 follow shot. Bro, for clout. Bro, we, bro, we know this. We know how clout works, bro. We know shot is taking a bite at. 
Dead ass. That's why you grin it like that. Because you know. Because you know, bro. And that, that's what make it... Bro, that's, that's what make it weird, bro. Because it's like, bro... I don't know, bro. And, and it... If you go on this... I don't know. Bro, it is weird, though. Like, he is a weirdo. So, like, his comedy is, like... Like a, a weird sense of humor. You feel me? Like, I ain't, I ain't really think he was funny. But... Yeah, I don't know. That, that's that's crazy. But um, to get off this, uh, to get off this this heavy shit. Uh, yeah, facts. I don't know what else happened, bro. What else? Oh um, shit! Let me get my phone out now. Uh, y'all check out that Jamie Foxx show? Yeah, I've seen it. He got a new show, bro. That John Live. He got a show. Yeah, that John Live. That John got Lanelle in that John. Like uh, the, the the comedian, yeah, yeah that John, I, I like, I like it. It's, it's a Jamie Foxx not a bad actor either. You feel me? Right. So it, it kind of worked. It's like, alright, Jamie Foxx got it, and he had a show before, so it's kind of like a uh, nostalgia to see him keep doing this thing. It's like, oh, alright, Jamie Foxx back up this man. But I don't know this man. Yeah. I I don't. So like, you don't we'll have to talk about that John. Oh man, yo, free my nigga chilling, man. Free, free, free him. Free my nigga chilling, bro. That's bro. That nigga is not like that, bro. That nigga is somebody. Somebody had to like bother him to. He know him. more than that, bro. Somebody had to bother him for him to put his hands. Yeah. Bro, like, bro, 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 for real? Yeah. Oh, damn. See, hey, he, he must. Hey, he must. Bro, it be know, the, it be the quiet ones. What y'all talking about? It be the it be the niggas that don't say much and that be behind the scenes and that don't really be on no shit. It be the them niggas. I don't say, look. I don't know, bro. So I don't really give a fuck. I don't know. No, but bro, he ain't like my own. That nigga. That I that I got haircuts from this nigga, bro. This nigga was one of the most positive niggas. Cut it. Yeah, for sure. Could have took you out at any time, bro. He used to be a Jesse James. Cause it took you out any given moment. <laughs> Chill, bro. Chill, bro. That's crazy, boy. That nigga had the clippers to your neck, nigga. Why don't they say something, nigga? Say something. They would be like, line you up real. Z -z 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 -z. <laughs> <laughs> nigga nigga did worse. <laughs> mm -hmm. This nigga double A don't believe he like he went up. Like, like, that's my nigga. Nigga. we ain't. That's not. That's not we ain't talking about the same nigga. That's not that nigga I see right there. I mean, niggas saying he crying. I mean, you going to jail, bro. You feel me? You feel me? You gonna cry? You go to jail? You ain't never been in a situation like that. You like, bro? What the fuck? Bro, for the sure. 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 Yeah, I mean, how you gonna bring? It? You gonna talk about it? You gonna read it? You bring it up? <laughs> you bring it up and put it off on somebody else. <laughs> Richmond police said they have charged John Chiller, the victim's son, and the deadly assault that happened in Richmond on Wednesday. Turn the mic up. Police were called shortly before 6:30 p.m. to the 3500 block of East Broad Rock. Officers at the scene said they found a woman in the building unresponsive and suffering from injuries from an assault. I just burned some wood. The woman identified as Melissa Page, 55 years old, and now dead at the scene. Yeah, man, that's that. Did that sound ingenuine? It is. It really is sad. That's terrible. Yeah, man. Sorry. I'm trying to get some light. I hope I'll, 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 I'll pray. I'll have some mercy. Nigga, you started off with that. I'm talking to the kids. Dude killing their mom. Sheesh. What the fuck? Goddamn. Peace and blessings for you. I don't know what's going on either, man. Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings.
Stallion. Oh. Mo, you ready for Hot Girl song? Nope. That ain't that ain't in your plans or something? You gonna be cool? You gonna hot girl or something? Mm -hmm. I didn't tell all that. No. That's cool. No beach trips, no that. Nope, you ain't gonna drive the beach. I'm driving the boat. That's cool. That's cool. She you know uh, I have to come up with a color mac mac color desktop mac, you know? Yeah, I seen him jump, but I don't plan on getting one. Yeah. You don't plan on getting one either? Yeah. I mean, for real with me, I mean, like I said, bro, you copping Mac, you pretty much good for a minute. For sure, you need to just go on the Mac, but y'all seen the new Call of Duty trip? With Drew Ski, Jack Harlow, yeah. and Gunna Thug, Gunna Thug, all the niggas in there. I didn't see that. Yeah, you didn't see that jump? Yeah, that jump was hard, bro. Pull it up, man. You're doing too much. All right. <laughs> Let's see. I should be able to type in Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Let me be able to type in Call of Duty. Look at that jump. Now that jump hard, bro. Especially them dropping the new season. Y'all played uh, that yet? Bro, no, but I seen, I seen niggas playing that jump earlier today. I, just, I heard they took Warzone off the, it was like resurgence. Yeah, they, they took it all because they made it in the I mean, they don't drop a new map. It's all part of it. They did one with Fortnite game. Yeah. Yeah, so exactly. So when that jank drop? Oh, it already dropped. It dropped today, didn't it? Uh, I don't know. I ain't been on that jump in a little minute, but I, I want to get on there because I want to play with certain jumps at I, night. I looked at some YouTube videos earlier today and they was watching. Because my jump was updated and then when I went on and it said season three. YouTube is easy. But yeah. it should still say like two hours. Time still says like two hours before the shit. So it That was like yesterday's shit. You got me. My drum was um, actually updated earlier today. I just ain't never turned that drum on. That drum probably hard as a bitch. I, saw, I watched somebody play it. Yeah, it was at night instead huh? of daytime. Like, you been on MLB? Me too. I've been on that drum too. I ain't gonna lie. That shit get boring. But that shit did, uh, did get boring. What you mean? Yeah, but it depends on your position, bro. Sometimes when you have my nigga pitch, sometimes when you have my nigga outfield. Yeah, same thing. I ain't watched over John either, but it was good. <laughs> it was good for a while last time. But yeah, except for the last time. I, I think that John hard, bro. I, I feel like that John ain't had nothing to do with the theme of like what's going on in Call of Duty right now. But it had all the it had all the big names in there, so it was like, all right, fuck it, they yeah. ride right with it. I think the new map theme that night. Yeah, that shit, yeah, yeah, that jump hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 that update gonna be crazy on niggas softball. Nigga, you better go ahead put that nice scope on your shit. Thermal, yeah, you better get thermal up. Yeah, they should do that jump with, like, the time change or some shit like that. They time are hard. Nighttime is hard, but I do both. I fuck with both. They should do both. Yeah. Whatever whatever time what you serve on, that jump should reflect. The daylight and the night. I don't like how you can't okay. do, but you want to do it like on a better. I seen some Jack that said you're going to uh, join the lobby by your class, too. By your class. Hell no. <laughs> by your rank. Not like your rank. I thought they'd been doing that. Hell no. Like 2K. Like, hell no. Let me, let me read That's this. That's automatic, up. but they said now you had the option to pick which one I think. You There's all right. You're saying you could match up with players in, like, in, in your rank. rank. Yeah. Instead of like. Uh, all right, um, I'm gonna read this from Money Bag, yo. He says, "Fucked up that niggas who got who got your number would rather get on social media making captions and tweets when um when they in their feelings instead of speaking up like men." He said, "Shit really be sad." He says, "Really fuck me, uh, fuck you niggas. I know you acting like you." You know what's crazy to me? He said that, but he said it. He said it as he on social media. You get know, brother, and that's ain't that like the the pro and con of social media? It's like, bro, when you trying to get a point across about social media, but you yeah, going through social media yeah, to do it. Facts, 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 them niggas be on. Yeah, facts. You crazy? Yeah, I mean that's what them niggas be on. But I'm just saying, bro, that's that on the that on the hit or miss. You feel me? Because easily niggas like. Yeah, nigga, you on here. You feel me? Like, you saying this shit on here. Like, you could have picked up a phone and called everybody. The last nigga you talking about, put them in a group chat, 
say what you needed to say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But maybe, but maybe he was trying to make a point. Though. But like I said, bro, when that shit on when that shit on social media, bro, that shit it, it kind of go in one ear and out the other. Me personally, I got a problem. I'm, I'm glad. Want to talk about it? Go ahead. Right, uh, I say Pentagon confirms the legitimacy of UFO videos. So basically, it's saying the videos. Oh, right, yeah, I seen that. Yeah, that, that leak from the Navy is legit. UFO sightings. I mean, well, we we already knew. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty. I don't I don't think like at that point like the government was admitting like, like UFOs. It was just like people catching people catching videos saying like. Yeah. Hey, you know what's crazy? We say that, but then as when we go listen and do research, it'd be a bunch of government ex like ex government niggas that be telling us this information. So it's like the government already told us. They just don't work for the niggas no more. They did I mean, but me personally, once you work for the government nigga and you retire or you quit. Yeah, you you a mob ties now, nigga. Like you work for the government. That's like, yeah, yeah, I used to work for the mob. Like the I don't NBA. know what the niggas do now. It's like when I was in it, that's how shit went down. Like the NBA. Just like the NBA. Yeah, you feeling like fraternity. Yeah. You retire from the NBA, you gonna be known as being part of the NBA. Forever. <laughs> yeah, forever. Adrian, nice to meet you, Please have a seat anywhere. You can grab that chair right behind you. You're fired. Brother. I was fired today. Yeah. Wait, what do you, what do you get fired? Uh, Limit. No limit. Protein shop. Huh? Protein shop on the uh, house. Uh, house. Uh, they said, hey man, that fast and shit you did, that was a, word, a wild stunt you gotta let you go. Yeah, yeah that was a wild <laughs> stunt you pulled. You won't get enough protein, nigga. And he was wild. Like, fuck this shit on me and they do the protein. You was wild in there? Yeah. <laughs> but you was late. Real? Yeah. Late. Come on, give, give us a spin. I mean, I ain't really a dramatic guy, man. You know but you had to get dramatic. I mean, when they asked that out of me, you know, but, I, but, I didn't but, deliver that. What they, what they needed from you? They basically needed my t-shirt, you know what I'm saying? Like, give me your t-shirt, yeah. Yeah, yeah t-shirt, but, <laughs> but why they find you? They said they had me on the camera being late a couple times. The shit that's fucked up is they got another nigga on the camera taking out of the smoke breaks. They ain't said shit to that nigga. When did they yeah, mob? Mob. Nigga, Niggas gonna be late a couple times. That's what I tried to tell them. I was only late four times this week. You know what I'm saying? Niggas <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't come I mean, for me. No, no cap, no bread. I, mean, I, I know it's Thursday, but still. I can't, <laughs> I can't <laughs> believe my job. He said, you a good one. He's in that shirt. Yeah, I can't. Hey, and the protein. White folk don't play that. They be like, yeah. the keys and the shirt. You need Nigga, the shirt, fuck bro. This, fuck these. That bitch was made from gilding. You know? <laughs> wait, <laughs> them gilding. Wait, wait, wait. Was that the only shirt you had? Like, At the time? Had, yeah. You ain't had no sh undershirt? No, no, I had an undershirt, yeah. But, you know. It's a little beach. It's cold outside. That's exactly. what I tried to tell <laughs> Y'all want me to bring the shirt back? No, nah, it took it off me at that moment. It it to the new nigga. Nigga, <laughs> nigga walked into my job. It was the rest going on. That you gave that nigga the fuck off. Oh, the natural put him a fight. Knocked all the protein off the shelf. Yeah, Clean this shit up. Yeah. Took my arm and dragged yeah. it across the whole thing from the shelf. That's that just means that we not meant to work for people. Yeah. You know, we just gotta work for ourselves. And you see why I was late. You would have seen that. Bro. You throw some protein and get some more. Oh shit. My nigga getting five like that shit, I'm going I'm wild and with him. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna shit. Amazon next. Fuck this shit. And fuck y'all, no limit. <laughs> I'm fucking with the wrong niggas. Yeah, man. All right, man. Whoop. I forgot what we were talking about. UFOs. Yeah, oh, y'all on good <laughs> shit tonight. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, <laughs> niggas is on UFOs. Yeah, man. We, we were just talking about how, how ex-government officials still, you know, work for still part of the government. The, the topic was the Pentagon is now confirming that the UFO leaks are legit. Okay, I wanted to know what do y'all think about that? What do y'all think about that? <laughs> oh, well, like I was saying earlier, I was just saying, like, we pretty much already knew 
Because people from the government have been saying Right, so about the other shit, you know, just the, not the UFO shit, but the other shit that people have said has happened, that the government be like, no, nah, it ain't happening. Example. 9-11. Yeah. Hmm? The niggas don't think 9-11? No, they, 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 they not owning up to that. Oh, y'all yeah, think the government did? Rig. Yeah, for sure. Rig. For sure. So you can own up. I mean, think about it. Motherfucker, UFO has been out since 1950. Everybody know about Area 51 in Roswell. But publicly, they did not acknowledge it. Even though we have a mountain of evidence, they publicly refused to acknowledge it. And now that this motherfucker is shooting goddamn SpaceX, his own private space force in the sky and all this other bullshit going on, now these niggas is like, oh yeah, this shit's real. Well, a 9 11, I mean, <laughs> to, to that, I mean, I don't really know stage or not, but just saying, um. Do you want to know details on why they say stage? No, no, I don't. Okay. But just saying, uh. To why, why I would think they wouldn't own up to that because. It was some wild shit. <laughs> Is it? Why Why lie about that? Like, they could have helped us. Who knows the technology? Who knows where we could have been if they would have acknowledged that this is what was going on 50 years ago? For 50 years, you lied to us, and then you want us to have faith in you and yeah, your sister. But, but, but they, I mean, it's, it's no, I'm not saying they're right or wrong. I'm just saying, I wouldn't, <laughs> if I, I did some shit, in order to get people to act a certain way, I'm not about to tell niggas the truth because then they probably not gonna act the way I needed them to act. Oh, you want to control niggas? That, 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 I mean, that's what the government do. They want control, right? But that's not what they're supposed to do. I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm not here to say what they supposed to do and what they not supposed to do. I'm just yeah, saying. That's just why, because what else they could have been lying about? That's my whole I mean, thing. I'm if you can sure. make, if you can lie about the shit that people seeing with their own eyes and say it's bullshit. And people believe you. And then 50 years later, they come out and they like, okay, you got us. <laughs> you caught us. Yeah. Then it begs the question, like. But it's, it's 50, it's 50 years old now. Some people, some some people, some people be scoring. It's like your wife cheating. It's like your wife catching you cheating after like 15, 20 years. It's like, like damn, bitch, what else you been lying about? Some, I can't even trust you. Though. Some people gonna leave. Some, but a lot of people not gonna leave. Not right there. Not right there and then because they got a lot invested. No real shit though. Think about it. Think about how much we got invested into America. Just, just, just being a part of society, we got a lot invested into it. So, and a lot of people don't want to believe that the government would lie to us, even though we. I mean, I mean, put it like this: If I was the government, I would lie to motherfuckers. That's just me talking from a personal point of view. I would more. I will. I'm a most definitely lie to niggas. Can't tell, can't, can't tell niggas the truth. Can't can't keep it a buck with everybody, but you can't keep it a buck with everybody. You can't you can't tell everybody the truth. Somebody got to get lied to somewhere. So I'm gonna just lie to everybody. You feel me? I'm gonna lie to everybody. I'm gonna tell you what you need to hear. I'm gonna tell you what you need to hear. When I get you off to the cut alone, I'm like, all right. So what I had the a, UFOs are coming around just scooping up niggas. They the whole time they've been keeping this shit quiet. They're I mean, but that's what. That's what niggas been saying, though. Niggas been saying they been getting scooped up. Niggas been saying they been getting scooped up. That changed the perception now. If, if, they, if the UFOs just, like, decided to start yeah. scooping, like, a mass... You know what if they had been doing that? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, part yeah. of the cover-up. Oh, yeah, they, they, they scooped a couple of niggas over here. That was part of the agreement. Not, 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 not that many. Over, maybe over... A, I mean, it probably is over a adjusted period of time. I mean, scary that I caught you in the cookie jar, and you can tell me no, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't, bro. But and it's, then you say yeah. But but then you like niggas my cookie jar. You feel me? That's what the government looking at America was like, bro. Yeah, you caught me with my hand in the cookie jar, but it's mine. <laughs> it's mine. Even though I even though I said everybody can get some come eat cookies when it's time. It's my cookie jar. Don't get the shit confused. <laughs> Don't even though everybody can get some cookies when it's time. It's mine though. Who, who gained the 
And I might have to lie to niggas, hey, yo, it ain't no cookies in the cookie jar this time. And then y'all see me sneaking in that bitch lid and get me some cookies. And then y'all, all right, I lied. That was the last one. Did you put up for these Even though it's more. Yes, nigga, it's my it's cookie jar. No, 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 it's your job, but did you put up for the cookies in the jar? Nigga, I'm the controller of the cookies in the cookie jar. If if I'm the government. Uh, if I'm the government, I control the cookies that go in the cookie jar. Don't nothing. Don't, you don't know. You don't know what's in the cookie jar until you get. To the cookie jar and get get what you want. I know what's in the cookie jar at all times. I know it's sugar cookies. I know it's chocolate chip cookies. You feel me? I know what's in this motherfucker. It's my you, job. We put you in charge of the cookie jar is what I'm saying. Exactly, nigga. That's so your you, fault. <laughs> your fault. <laughs> your fault. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And now that I got the cookie jar, I ain't letting this bitch go. Who gonna stop me? I'm putting in that cookie jar. Nigga ain't gonna tell me. No, think about it. Think about it. It's just cookies. Now look, look, no, no choice, hold, on, hold on. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. It's just cookies. We not about to fight over cookies. So if a tell, if a nigga tell you, hey, look, bro, I'm keeping this cookie, this cookie jar, and I'll fight you for this bitch. You like, you know what? It's just cookies. I, I take the crumbs. That's what. That's what they give us. They got millions. I mean, what type of technology? You if I put these cookies what in there, I'm going to get a cookie in there, too. What the fuck is they talking about? Put no cookies in the cookie jar, man. I, I put them cookies in there. No, you don't. I just put you in charge. You don't hold no type of elected government in. official position you. nowhere. It don't, it don't matter. I pay taxes. I vote. But that's what I'm saying. You can't, though, bro, because mass hysteria is a real thing. If you tell niggas y'all don't have shit under control, then... And and I ain't gonna lie, aliens flying around the sky when they fucking want to, that sound like y'all ain't got shit under control. But and it's the only way to seem like y'all can control that joint is to deny, deny the nigga it ain't shit flying the around the sky. Y'all seeing shit. It mm-hmm. ain't y'all tripping. <laughs> it ain't shit flying around in the sky. Even though you know it's shit up there, but we gotta maintain like we got shit what's, under control. What's the difference from them telling us now versus them telling us years ago? I mean, like I said, bro, it's, it's them to have shit under control. This is this is them flexing control. So flexing. now at this point, we have no means to do anything if they tell us the truth. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Well, what if we've been sitting on it for 50 years? We had time to protect. Well, now it don't even matter. <laughs> it don't matter. It, it don't matter if y'all know. Bro, facts. It don't well, matter if y'all know. We are. Let them pull up there. Yeah, it don't matter. It don't matter. Let them. This yeah. is where it is. Yeah, yeah bro. Bro, the government so far ahead of us. That's why I don't even try to play this game. I don't try to play the game because I was like, bro, I mean, I just put myself in a position of if I was the government and I had to control some shit, that's how I would control it. I would, the lying and denying would be a big part of my plan. How many years y'all think ahead there is? No, 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 no. I'm saying give me a number. Like four, three. Three, four, five hundred, niggas. <laughs> yeah, you feel me? It's, all uh, right, so every generation is 100. So how many generations? Not not, not necessarily. No, no, no. we just assume it. If you live up to 80, that's almost 100 years. Each generation, about 100. Go ahead, show the approximation. How many How many generations? Have these people been in power and in control? Since, we, since the land of time. Since the 1900s, that's at least 100 years right there. Since like seven, eight brothers, generations, nine, ten, ten. 15 generations We of, don't know how to read. We the only ones, though. I mean, I'm just saying. In charge of the masses. Because, I mean, we one race. We already understand we ain't know how to read. We was from the jungle. But the other peoples, the Westerners, how long have they been in control? How many generations? Since we've been in control. Since the beginning. Since Europe decided that they wanted to leave where they were at mm. and go everywhere else. So you think they mapped that out back then? When they took over and they started controlling the banking and the money. And when you realize that these government officials are like the starting 1800s. to receive pay cuts from hey. lobbying groups, from private corporations, you understand? It's like the early 1800s. Bro, it's not just our government, you feel me? I mean, That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's all over. Yeah, it's all over, you hey. feel me? And that's what I'm saying about mass hysteria. You can't just... Cause if one if one country starts saying, "I right, y'all, this shit is for real, for real, for real," then the rest of the world gonna be like, "Hold on, why the fuck this? Why they just doing it?" 
You feel me? Nah, 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 nah. So it's, it's, it's way bigger than just America. It's just saying, yeah, our government just saying, like, yo. Some shit was going on with you, yeah. Nigga, imagine, yeah. imagine living, like, somewhere where the government got legit control and they don't play none of that shit on TV about UFOs and none of that. Like, they don't even let that shit get on the internet. Imagine. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, them niggas imagine probably. having the power to pull a country card. Like, you gonna do what, nigga? I know such and such. That card on there, nigga, you'll be dead. And then I'm just saying, they ain't gonna let you put no type of card on. It it, it, it could, you could be the bank, though. I mean, you still, the countries don't even control their money. You know what I'm saying? So, imagine you owning a bank that they, that the country, you know what I'm saying, run their money through, like their Federal National Reserve. You like, oh, you gonna do what? Yeah, y'all better put that money back, nigga. Or I'm gonna withdraw. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make y'all money go down or some shit. You feel me? Y'all po, y'all what power? Nigga, if you own a bank, you, you have a lot of... How you gonna own a bank? Nigga, I'm not talking about me. Nah, he just saying, like, if somebody own it, we talking about it. He just saying somebody. It's somebody in general. Who would that person be? I don't know. It would have to be, like, a Rockefeller or something. So you want a Rothschild. To on their own? No, 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 no. On their own. I'm saying they pull a card, they get out of hand. You feel me? <laughs> Like flex they power. I mean, money not the end all be all though. Niggas start flexing with money, and that's when niggas pull up with straps. Nah, I didn't know they gonna do that. What they, what they gonna do? Rich niggas don't care about money. That's one thing I didn't, I couldn't, I couldn't fathom. I couldn't fathom. Nah, I'm, but I'm just saying, if you start throwing money around, niggas don't. That's what I'm saying. Niggas hey, don't really hey, care hey, about hey. money. Niggas will pull up with straps. What they care about? They come take everything from you. What they care about? Power, bro. But don't money equal power? No. no. Power is whatever you decide to make it. <laughs> yeah. Well, Whatever, power yeah. Money, money can That's be a form of power. It can be a form of, yeah, it can be a form of power. Let me explain it. I can give Jalen a hundred dollars right now. Give Jalen a hundred dollars, shoot that nigga here. That's money. That's power, right? Now he says a hundred dollars. That's not worth the buy. That's a nigga. Dad. So then that's when I go up. <laughs> but the reality is. Power is what he decides to do with the gun in his hand. But in order to get somebody to pull that trigger, don't you gotta have money? So say say if like you like, I want you to pull this trigger and kill this person, and you ain't gotta worry about the police because I already paid them off. That's power though, right? The power wouldn't be that you can get the police to forget about what you just did, or the, or, or or what you did in order to get them to get, forget about what you. I'm, you know what I'm saying, brother? What's power? That's a very subjective question. It depends on who you're talking to. You feel me? Some people think money power. Some people think violence is power. You feel me? It's it's, it's real. But what I'm saying, what I was saying is, if once niggas can, once niggas get past the money aspect of it, I mean, then after that, I mean, ain't nothing else. So Nothing else <laughs> left to do but <laughs> scrap the, the it out. Dollar <laughs> breaks. How do things move? I can't pay Arthur. you to do what I want you to do now. So how do I get you to do what I want you to do? Well, there are only two choices, brother. I overpower you with my physical power, or I convince you to, to relinquish your power to me. Understand. <laughs> you physically doing something to me don't necessarily mean I'm gonna do what you want me to do. And so you, you convincing me. You if I want you to fall off the couch within my power, it's against your power. Now you can go against it, but if I have the means to push, push me your up. ass off the goddamn couch, that's that's that power. Okay. So all power though. Other power is the, the one that you relinquish, which now is a little bit more manipulative. Where I have to convince you that it is in your best interest to do what I want. Mm. I like the way you put that. Does that mean like you be like? Yeah, I mean that's like what niggas do with religion. Make a nigga disappear. Like, that's do all something. they do. Yeah, yeah missionaries. They send them over there. To tell y'all, yo, man, y'all religion don't make sense. Y'all gonna die. Y'all gonna all be down. 
we can save y'all. And we ain't got to fight it out. We, I mean, we ain't got to shoot it out. So fuck your belief. Because we can just save you. power to me and my sister. Yeah, I see. And then, trust then, in me. And then once niggas from there say, no. You seen them arrows? It's time to. Bro, who died on that island? Time to click out. That was one of them. Niggas clicking up after that. Peaceful? Oh. What you mean? What you mean? No, 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 no. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's why they was aggressive. That niggas not conform because of previous. I don't believe in Jesus. Our Lord Savior. No structure in nature. You don't see all the gorillas create a go, union go, 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 and a government. Lock them niggas like, up over there. Put them on a the boat. Jay-Z Take them to the new world. The he said there is no church in the wild. He Take said them to that. the new world. He said that. But the government got power over us. It ain't no physical like power. It ain't like they had our dough. Like yo, y'all gotta do this. Y'all gotta do that. Power we can't both have. Is jail not a power? Shit only happen in movies. Niggas is not breaking out of jail. You gonna see that soon? That's what you said. Bro, don't they say Hollywood collect the cocaine to prepare you to eat the juice? <laughs> Niggas is not breaking out of jail. <laughs> don't they say that? <laughs> it depends on what jail, but these niggas be breaking out of state of the art jail. Niggas tank. getting a tank from same niggas, niggas who a had tank. a tank on Broad Street. No, on Broad. Yeah, no cap. He want a regular nigga. He was a regular. No, he nigga. was. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga work. That nigga work. That nigga had access to the tank. You know what I'm saying? Like he want a regular nigga. Like wow, and he had access to the. Seen a nigga shoot a nigga? When's the nigga? last time you seen a nigga shoot a nigga? No, bro. That... As much as niggas talk about letting that motherfucking thing down. Wait, just because I, I don't see a nigga shoot a nigga, like, just because I don't like see a nigga, I know people that seen niggas. I'm not saying like, that. I'm just asking you day to day when you go out your door, do you see a nigga get sprayed? I hear about it every day. You hear about it. But I'm asking you, brother, do you see it? <laughs> no, because I ain't outside. And all these plays, you feel me? I can't be in all these plays. I ain't God, you feel me? Have you seen that? To, to answer your question, you no, I ain't never seen nobody get, just get shot on a daily. But that don't mean it don't happen. You know how many people died there? The, the polar it's ice caps, the polar, they tell us the polar have ice I caps. I've seen nothing. somebody shoot. See that, but we or have I happened. been in the vicinity of somebody getting yeah, shot? Person. Hey, you heard have me. I've seen someone get shot. Was it, is it have I seen somebody or ha, have I been in the vicinity of somebody getting shot? Nigga, no, have nigga. You he, seen think about a two person two. be shot with the two eyes on your face. Nigga, he asked me, "Do you go outside and see niggas die on a daily basis?" Yeah. No, nah, but I've been at first question. Fridays and nigga. No, 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 that's not what he's not asking. You feel me, niggas? Ah, you gotta get out of there. How often have no, that was once. You see him on the radio. You see him on the news. You hear about it. 
put it like this. Put it like this though. I, I don't go to the clubs because nine times out of ten, I know niggas get shot at the club. And that's why I don't go to the club. So I that's why I'm like you acting the wrong nigga. I don't put myself in situations to where I'm seeing niggas get shot every day, but it's niggas who do live like that that do see niggas get shot a lot. Cause they cause they put themselves in them situations. <laughs> That's, because but, of what has been painted. But I mean that I mean, but that that's been our perception before it was on the news. You feel me? Like before we even niggas are already like we live in the hood, so it's like niggas already know how shit work. And that's why niggas get money and they move to white neighborhoods. You feel me? Cause after you move to a white neighborhood, you don't really see a lot of that no more. You you can go in your house, you can be out late at night, running go for a jog. I'm not going for a jog. No time around here late at after <laughs> after it get dark, I'm good. <laughs> after it get dark, I'm not going for a jog nowhere. And that's just because I know my vicinity. I live on the east end. This joint, big, <laughs> this joint, this, don't get me wrong. It ain't. It's big houses over here, but it's also small small sections that you don't want to get caught in the wrong time because you just don't know. You just don't know. I was that's like that. The thing. But, the, the, but that's the, that's what everything though. I'm just speaking objectively first. Because in the don't though is also the positive too. Because if you don't allow yourself to go on things because the unknown is always negative thinking or a negative kind of thought about it, then and and I that's and I feel like yeah, but at the same time that's why we also get mad and we call people culture vultures. Because the shit we do is, like you saying, it's the unknown. So when you see seeing, like, people outside on TikTok and giving away hacks, and you be like, bro, that's, that's some shit, like, some hood shit. Mm-hmm. That's why niggas be confused. Because you be like, bro, they get all, they, they, they pick and pull from what they want to. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's, it's crazy. Like, so it's just really just a, like, like you said, bro, your vicinity, bro. You definitely a product of your environment. Yeah, bro, yeah, for sure. Is it the trauma that black people endure that makes them so creative? For you? Not just the trauma, but that's that's a big part of it, though. Yeah, that's a true. big part. Yeah, it's not just... But, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot... That's that's. It's a lot of downfalls to that, too. It's, I like mean, but just, just not even with black people. That's, that's in a lot of... Because lot if you think about it, trauma. think about the mass of, mass of black people, you feel me, that have, drama, have trauma, and then think about the amount of them who actually turn that into something. Not a lot. You know what I'm saying? So maybe because they stuck off the trauma, or you know what I'm saying, you never know. But it just depends. You know what I'm saying? They don't always turn it out. Yeah. You know, it, for real, yeah, I, I would say a lot of, I would say, because trauma is everywhere. You feel me? I would say a lot of trauma actually stagnates a lot of your talent. Because it's, if that was the case, it's stuck here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, And, but we wanted the most talented right, uh, group. And this is what I'm saying is that from that, you have a culture that is flawed and is being stolen, but it originates from trauma. We sang in the field to sing the route, how to get the fuck up out of here, how to kill the nigga, that type of thing. So it's just like we have a history of turning and getting 
this resiliency and turning shitty shit into positive shit. Oh, yeah, for sure. The thing becomes is when you take the trauma and you start to deliver more trauma because it's the shit you're used to. Or you use the trauma to justify the trauma instead of using trauma to help somebody else recover from their own. You had to give me an example. I can say some shit, but the way my mind works in comedy is a little bit different. Like, I say some real foul shit. Like, I'm like, oh, head ass type shit. I'm going to be like, I'm oh, weak. I'm going to give you these sentences in there. You say this is type shit. It's going to be worse. Like, <laughs> that type shit. So I say that to say, I talk about comedy, and a lot of people don't like comedy in the sense where, you know, a lot of it, if the comedian, I feel like, don't have shit to talk about set-wise, then he's going to talk about people. Now, to me, that's lame, because comedy, to me, is, is, is laughs. Comedy is taking the fucked up shit that's happened to me that I might give somebody else a good kick. Pack them up, and you might learn some shit. That's why I, that's why I picked it. I didn't pick it to berate you and make you feel like shit. You came out to have a laugh. That's my goal. I'm saying that. Alright, let me stop you right there. I I think we were resilient people before the trauma. And being that we were so resilient, slavery just it we overcame it. You feel me? A lot of us could have died off and damn near wouldn't stink. No no cap. Like but we over that was just something something else we overcame. Just a of another part of our journey of how people spread it and overcame the differences. You feel me? Because I, 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 I just don't think we, we got resilient. You feel me? Before we was in the fields singing, them people learned that music from back where they was already at, and they just took it and revamped it. You feel me? So it's already, it was already resilience in our DNA. It's just, uh, you know, white people, white people noticed that, and they took advantage. You feel me? They, they noticed that, oh, I, this one man can lift two, three bells of hay by himself, walk barefooted, you feel me? Just resilient people. They just noticed talent, you feel me? It's just, and I'm, I wouldn't just say talent, but skill, just a hard-working skill that we got. Now, individually... What you mean? Who? They should be able to create good art. The people who do not suffer the trauma. I'm saying that a part of the trauma that we... I, I, whoa, 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 whoa now. I'm just asking because that's what I was that's, saying is that I think that the trauma we have endured has helped in the sense that we turned that negative... I'm not, I'm not going to say, I'm not gonna say the, the, the black folks want good artists, but them white folks are paying their ass off. Okay, so you have the white folks. I mean, but you got black people in Africa that don't hit like the niggas here. You got niggas all over the world, but for whatever reason, they want to grab the niggas here because the niggas here have experienced shit that no other nigga around this world has experienced. So much so that you can't look at a genre of music that didn't stimulate or come from a nigga that came from these hips. And that's all that I'm saying as far as. And that turned poetry in it. It's, it's, it's trauma and how they presented it. And I don't 
see another group of people that have taken the trauma that they've gone through and be able to produce such good films and good content from it. That's all I have to say. All right, I want to go back to uh, like jazz music, just uh, just a whole wave of that. But um, yeah, when I like listen to jazz music, I I think the same thing. Like this this music come from pain and what people overcame and how people deal with their demons. But at the same time, it's in English. It's like it's like a mix. You feel me? It's like they wouldn't be able to create this great ass music unless they would have without the mix. Like it's like it's it's. It's just like I just think it, I don't want to say the American dream, but it's it's just some like it's just something we took and made of made our own. As you feel me, I feel like we just took the. I mean, but we are like the true Americans. Like if if like they want to really like get down to like the nitty gritty, we we help do a lot. So you feel me? Like we really contributed a lot. So it's just almost I don't know, man. I feel like. I feel like yeah, with the trauma come uh, come a lot of art, but it, we was already good before that. It's just whatever situation we get put in, we we take and make our own. That's all. You put you can drop a black person anywhere, bro. They gonna they gonna they gonna find a way. They gonna do their thing. You got something to say, Jay? No. I <laughs> yeah, man. But yeah, that's 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 all. You feel me? I, <laughs> you good there? Good. <laughs> All right, man. We killed a lot of time, man. Uh, Facebook said they're coming out with a clubhouse competitor. It's going to just be live audio room. A lot of, a lot of Jones been doing that. I seen that shit on Twitter last night. Yeah. Saying you can go make a room on Twitter and then niggas will join that joint. That joint tell you be respectful and all that. Yeah. And you go in there, you just have a room oh, open on Twitter. Yeah. Man, if one of y'all don't get up. All right, hit that jack. The red button, yeah. The record button. Hit it twice. That should be loud. All right. Hey. Oh. Cryptocurrency, man. Niggas. What should I tell you this? A dude, this is a new coin came out called Safe Moon. Right? It surpassed Dodge coin for the third week. Dude turned 3K. Into $91,000. The coin going for less than a dollar was like a point zero, 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 five, seven, five. So way less than a dollar. So you could get a whole bunch of money. But they're saying uh, it went up like 103%. Hey, bro, that's why, that's why I feel like, bro, this cryptocurrency shit is, uh, I ain't gonna say it's not gonna last. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it's, it's fine. Yeah, after a while, bro, it's, it's um, <laughs> I don't want to say it's, either you hear or you're not. I don't want to say inflation, sort of, but once it's a lot of, once it's a lot of that one thing from different, like, sources and entities, bro, then it ain't gonna really be no money nowhere. Yeah, I disagree. If, if they say niggas running out of money, how much money you gonna put into all these different cryptocurrencies before they say, all right, before you run out of money? So what they what what they saying is money never gonna go nowhere, right? But, no, the, va- but the value of money is gonna go somewhere. Mm-hmm. But cryptocurrency value continues to even though it go it may dips at times, it still make a, a higher increase versus the U.S. dollar, what it's worth to other countries. So. If you take your dollar and you buy, you know what I'm saying, uh, a coin that's worth a, le- a little bit amount of money, if you study it right, you got a chance to flip that. It's like stocks, you know what I'm saying? But it's just, a be- it, it, it do better numbers, you know what I'm saying? Versus stocks is usually over a year. I feel that, I just think then like the overflux of motherfucking all these cryptocurrencies don't scare a lot of niggas. 
Now, if somebody catch one like in the early stages, and then they, you feel, of course, you gotta have an invest like an investment mentality with it. But a lot of people don't get put on these new cryptocurrencies until they already taken off, and you miss your you miss your shit unless you already on that type of wave and you looking for that. But that's that's what I'm saying. Like moving forward, it's gonna be like a lot of companies that's gonna be investing money in different coins, and you gonna be watching who who put what money where. And you know what I'm saying? Cause shit, Target or Walmart just brought Dodge coin or something like that the other day. Mm-hmm. Like a whole bunch of Dodge coins. So, you know what I'm saying? If big, big ass corporations putting their bread into it to make their money grow, then you gonna sit, you gonna see people like do, do the same thing. Cause that's what people was doing with Warren Buffett back in the stock market, watching what, what he put his cheese at in the Berkshire um, trades, just seeing where they put the money at. So now it's just like, all right. So you're saying niggas putting monies into these different uh, different cryptocurrencies, and the dollar is gonna lose value. But it's each coin got a different purpose, by the way, too. So not everyone is trying to be a currency. So, all right. So now, now I, I now I so, explain that. So Dogecoin, Bitcoin, they're trying to be like currency competitors. There's probably a, a few other ones if you look it up, but. When you look into like when you invest into it, the coin will say in the details what the purpose of the coin is. So Ethereum, for instance, right now they use it. They're not even trying to be like uh, currency. They're just trying to go for more of the investment asset purpose. So you buy it and you can use it to buy an asset and hold on to it and be worth more. But it's like each coin, like different people are putting out coins for different purposes. So like back in like when y'all was talking about the Jim Jones coin. That would be if you think Jim Jones is going to do something good, you know what I'm saying? In the next week, you invest in Jim Jones. That's, that's what his coin was for. But each coin, you know what I'm saying, typically when they make a coin, it's for a purpose. Not everybody trying to be like a dollar. Because if you're trying to be a currency, then you got to have like a current, you know what I'm saying? You got you to gotta get up there. Or have yeah, like see, jumps. Yeah, that's, that's, what what I was, that's, yeah, that's exactly what so, I was about to get into. I was like, bro, because it takes some shit of money yeah. in order for a coin or cryptocurrency to become specific yeah. that shit like to become like Bitcoin that joint took years like for it to become 52,000 for one Bitcoin Bad that joint took yeah like 2014 yeah you feel me and that's like bro 2014 bro I was just out of high school I ain't know nothing about no damn cryptocurrency I don't even worry about cryptocurrency I was like give me $20 nigga. <laughs> Facts. So that's what I'm just saying. Like, bro, it takes some shit of money. Like, bro, even though Walmart and all these other people buying the, the, the Doge, 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 dog, yeah, Doge, Doge, yeah. Even though they bought it, bought into it, that joint still ain't. It, I mean, it went up, but it ain't like. But you had to see where it started from, because they all don't start the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Bitcoin didn't start from point zero zero zero. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If somebody so, already got put put a bunch of money into it for it to start some of it. No, no, what, what I'm saying is Bitcoin never started at less than a dollar. Mm-hmm. It, it, when, when it started, it started at like a dollar, $14, and it just slowly went up. It, it, people started getting more invested into it when they was using it for the black market, of course. But, and that's how Bitcoin grew up. Yeah, but, that's how, but it, it was never under a dollar. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Dogecoin was way less than a penny. Like the, the actual coin cost way less than a penny when it first started. Bitcoin never was less than a dollar, so they just start, start off. Don't, don't get me wrong. I hope it's Dogecoin really, does well. It's, it's not about what the coin. It's the trick. It's not about what the coin is. It's, it's about how much you get the coin at and how where it jumped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, yeah, I know how so, to invest. Yeah, I understand like the investment purpose of it. But I'm saying like you, you want to get a whole bunch of them while it's low. I mean, and that's hey, that's the best point. But Bitcoin was never less than a dollar, so it gave you less opportunity. And a lot of other com- companies are like putting out a specific amount of like coins out. So like at the Bitcoin, I think is like at the two mil, uh, uh, it's a specific amount of Bitcoins out in the world. And once they run out, they out. That's why the value start changing. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a scarcity. And wouldn't that be the same thing with like all cryptocurrencies? I mean. Yeah, but at some point, don't all them jumps run out? So, or do they just keep so, going? Like, like I said, Ethereum, their jank is a little different. So once they run out of Ethereum, they gonna do this 
thing where it flipped into like, uh, like they gonna change it to like a E2, like it's a different, like the point two coin or the regular one. You can still have a regular one, but it's just gonna be a different version of the coin moving further. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, that's what they were supposed to be doing. Ethereum right now is the only one that I know of that's like changing their model in the next two, three years. Yeah, see, that's, that's, um, yeah, that's something you really have to be like into. I'm not really into cryptocurrency. I mean, I just want to get on that curve. I just want to be into that money. If I can get it on the curve on wrong. that those boy, yeah, yeah, and in there, wrong. if it don't hurt. If I could become a crypto guru, like they got stock rules, I'd be in the real Yeah, that, that joint definitely needs some wild money in it, but I'm just not a crypto guru. Sell. Everybody sell. Sell your Dodge today. That's what they do. <laughs> no, 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 no. I eat Elon Musk. Fuck you, Elon. I know what you're doing. Wow. Um. What about saying? I don't know. I just think after a while, after everybody going ahead and make their own coins and shit, the value of cryptocurrency is going to kind of get stagnant. I got a question. That's what I'm thinking. I got a question for you and you. Well, shit, we all been in the world. How would y'all feel if y'all was in the world? I have been in the world. All right, so y'all. <laughs> how would y'all, so Amazon <laughs> said they're using an <laughs> algorithm <laughs> now to shuffle around their employees doing physical labor. So I guess it's saying basically the company are rolling out a new job rotation program where they can, I guess, rotating your job around the building. How would y'all feel if they did that to y'all? I wouldn't like that person. Well, I like that. If it's based off label, yeah, these niggas ain't picking up these boxes the way I am. So I'm spread that well. Now, if you're not able to do it, cool. But if you're able and you cut the corners, pay for uh, how you work. Which is the majority of the time. You know what I'm saying? Everybody thinks they had a sex salary. They said they use an algorithm. They like, they shuffle around employees and they require physical labor. So I'm assuming that all the warehouse workers, that's what physical labor would be. They would be shuffling them around in the job rotation. No. If it's efficient, if it ain't efficient, then nah. And I ain't trying to teach this nigga the same thing. You gotta retrain people so so frequently. How would that be? How hard is it for you to do certain warehouse jumps? You know what I'm saying? Put these here. Yeah, but match it up by the color. You probably get hurt. You probably create more space for like Andrew. Niggas move. Like his job where you gotta get a hang up, you feel me? Like it's just a lot going on, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't want to be rotating. You put me in one spot at work. I imagine it ain't no fun shit. You feel me? At work, I want to do one thing. And then a nigga being like, alright, we're gonna put you in a. I don't like that, bro. I ain't no fucking all stuff. What you call the truck? Yeah. One nigga. I'm about to do one nigga thing. That's how I feel. I'm not about to. You pay me for all that. Bro. Yeah, you ain't gonna dollar general me. Yeah. Not me working everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Man, you see that? I see that. I see that. I see that. Get the bathroom. Alright now, come back to the front. Niggas, you the manager. Niggas say, can I meet your manager? Niggas said, hold on. Facts. At that point, bro. I can't help you. Niggas said, you just put on the... The only way I'm going to be cool with some shit like that is niggas getting a lot more than what we was getting. 20. Nah. I need 20. I need more. I'm not doing everything. 24. I need to be paid like a nurse. No, no, facts. I'm not need to be up there. Nurses, they do a lot. Mm-hmm. Which trying to make you yeah. be doing some kind of movement. Oh, and I can't seven. sit down on my break. You know what I'm saying? I can't seven. sit down. I got beautiful. Oh, six and seven. 24. I do everything in that job. That's about 45,000 a year. I'm trying to be about 335, 44 G's a month. I did the math already. I have to tell Facts. I'm trying to ball out, nigga. Fuck all that bullshit. Nigga's not going to get me in this bitch. You're working for free. I do one thing. One thing. Fifteen dollars an hour. I do one thing. Niggas want me to do both of them jobs, then switch. 
catch boxes, then push the jump. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, you <laughs> push boxes boxes today. And the mall, you picking them jump. Meanwhile, <laughs> then on Thursday, you self check out enough. That's just sound whack. That's just sound Bro, you probably gonna see different shorties. You gonna be that's, that's different what you people. About. You at work. And? Fuck that. What that mean? You do everything like I do. Where else do you interact with shorties? You just when you work a full time job and you gotta go. Yeah, but when I but when that happened, bro, them bitches do one thing and I do one thing. What's that? You probably you probably do opposite things. But you ain't gotta see her every day. But if she doing everything and I'm doing everything. Exactly. Y'all might bump into each other one day. All right, cool. Then I'm up and at it. You ain't see her about the next six days. Like, damn, I ain't even know people on this shit had that asses. You got that asses on Thursday. Hey, well, she got no asses on Monday, but they got cute faces. Yeah, you, you got variety. Until you ain't shift with all the old niggas. Oh, that's gonna happen. <laughs> that's gonna happen. That's gonna be the Sunday shift. Nah, that's that late night shift. Yeah, like that. late night shift. Nah, what is that? 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 What is Nuclear bomb testing. Oh, Sweet, but almost potentially deadly. What's that? What's that skill of shit? Shrick, shrickers. Shrickers. What's that? What's that? You creep out your bag of treats this Halloween. Some sour that will make you shriek. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, that's oh weird. macaroni. Oh, that's lasagna. I'm hungry too. Yeah, yeah, it's like uh, lasagna macaroni. I don't might be I. I don't might be I. Lasagna macaroni. Hey now. I don't might be I. Jake. Lasagna macaroni. Nigga, imagine your some your mama will <laughs> cook said. your favorite macaroni and cheese, and then imagine you cook your favorite lasagna, and then they just take the lasagna shit and they put it on top of the macaroni. It's still got the ground turkey and beef. Yeah, it's still got that. Oh, that's. Oh, it's still bad, right? It's still in time. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's on fire. That's on fire. Probably gonna be shit. Get you a nice little shit for sure, man. Yeah, yeah, you, you can't talk. get a lot of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's only a hand. That's only a, a spoonful for everybody. Two spoonfuls, you can be done. Go ahead, say it, nigga. You wanna, go ahead. You wanna talk about it? Go ahead. Oh, we gonna talk, bro. I knew something was wrong with you, bro. What is that? This nigga, nah, nah, don't try to click off it now. Talk about the gay series. Go ahead and talk no, about the gay series. I ain't know it was gay. I thought it had all the cereal. He said, I know it was gay. He said, oh, nah, I ain't know it was gay. <laughs> 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 Y'all niggas ain't know it was gay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? 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 Yeah, you know what I'm I was like, they got a cereal. They mixed all the cereals in that bitch. Hey. They mixed all that Jake together. I was like, oh, no. that junk got a rainbow of hunt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, hey, that's funny. That's not even a rainbow. Like hey, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Me and her was uh, upstairs watching the Wouldn't game, bro. Wouldn't that be fun if we had all the Jake's in one cereal? Look, look, look. <laughs> look. But then we was watching the game, right? In Boston, they celebrating uh, like this. The Pride. The Pride Month. And when I looked at the Pride, like, you know, like the, the, the colors. The colors mean different jumps. Like it, you knew that? I did not know that. I didn't know it either. I didn't Great. know it. So it, it, it was it was like it was like life, serenity. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, okay. damn, I can't think of the other jumps. Me either. It was, it was some shit. It was like, I have many rainbow colors. They took all the colors. Yeah, but when I watched it, I was like, bro, this shit don't say funny. nothing about being gay. I'm like, all these colors are like some re- like this is shit you supposed to live by. Like this is like, but it was like life, serenity. Um, oh, you mean like the stripes on the flag got a representation? I thought you yeah. mean like and I was the stripes like, go with shit. like this is each sexual group that this is normal normal sexual that's why I was shit. like yeah, they I took all the colors sexual. they wow. But then I thought I was like, hold on, let me think. I was like, maybe that's what they trying to do. They want you to realize that they're people too. <laughs> that's that's so sweet. People too. That's simple, simple. Yeah. They are. They I mean, mean, of, yeah, yeah, of, of course, but when I read, I was just like, bro, that's something simple. I, I thought that, man, if, I, if anything, was it the, was it the, was it the letters? 
Was it the fucking letters? I don't even remember. What about the letters? Ain't no S in that journal. Ain't no S in that journal. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck the journal is. It is a plus. It is a plus. No, no, no. But that, they had serenity in that journal. But yeah. So that's, that's what that journal means, bro. All together. But tell me it would be a fire cereal. But like, if you mix all the cereals in one from Kello, the, the frog, you know what I'm saying? Two Pay Sam, Apple Jacks. He said, well, I ain't Tiger. Yeah. 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 I think some cereal. Yeah. 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 These guys ain't fucking like this game. Yeah. Hey, bro, bro, I gotta see that clip brand back, bro. That's hilarious, bro. I gotta see that, y'all. Hey, that don't be a lot. Oh, chill out. What's that Chinese shit? Oh, shit. It's like a nasty. It's such a mysterious beef hole. Nah, nah. Mysterious beef hole. Nah, that's probably some bad. Ninety percent lamb, ten percent. Yeah, some more cereal. Some birthday, some birthday cake. You sure? <laughs> sure. What's that? Axe with a gyro. Hey, damn! The day Thursday? Oh, yeah. What time? Yeah. Buffalo Wild Wings closed. Oh, ain't they open to like one? Like two. I'm about to buck off. You feel me? I'm about to go get me my fucking ten dollars of wings. You know, you're getting like twenty of them bitches. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm not a fan of Buffalo Wild Wings. Who got the best wings? That's a hard question. And we actually talking wingets too. We not. That's a hard. We just be talking. No bones. You talking about? No bones. <laughs> straight wings. Oh, you said no bone. No bone. Bone. Crispies. I was well, well, when well, I'm a winget. I go to Buffalo Wild Wings and only get bones. I'm not get no fucking bone in. Yeah. Me neither. So, I fuck with America's best. Christmas. Christmas got the best wings. I fuck with America's No, 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 no. I like that lemon pepper. No, 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 no. Kickback Jacks. Kickback Jacks. I get that on this too. Crazy dry red wings. Fuck. See, see, you tripping because Kickback Jacks got something that Buffalo Wild Wings don't. The grill. The grill wings. The grill dry rub? The grill yeah, wings, bro? Them joints different. I only ate it. They time. get stuck to your teeth. They so good. Them joints yeah, good, bro. Them joints, right. because you know the, the skin I fried, you know, yeah. the grill, niggas, bro. I know, I know, Kevin, I know they had Kickback Jacks. We gotta get you kickback jacks, bro. Get you yeah, yeah. Hey, I like I like the Thai chili sauce they got. Thai chili? Hey, I fuck with a good Thai chili. Yes, sir. Good taste, that's good taste right there. Yeah, man, yeah, Tachin. You, you too, brother? Tachin? Tachin. Uh, what, 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 you, you ever had Kickback Jack's Grill Jump? Grill yeah, Wings? Nice. Uh, I never had that flavor. I got Tachin. You got the Grill Wings? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that the Thager. Piece of Hut that teamed up with Pac-Man. You put I ain't had pizza in a minute. It's on the back of the box. You got the little Pac-Man map, and um, you put your phone over that jank, and let you, I think you can play it. Like, on your phone. That's that's hard. So like, uh, hey, hey, I'm thinking about buying no. <laughs> no, 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 no. But if you get some pizza, that's a good bonus. You feel me? Pick them. You yeah, no, 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 no. Look, man, you go get some pizza. Yeah, you play a little Pac-Man game. Who can have some pizza? <laughs> Bro, bro, Pizza Hut ain't been good since they first came out with the five, the five dollar box, and that was like back in 2013, 2012. That's cute. Who the best? It's cute. Local pizza. Local pizza. I mean, Richmond. Like this is not a local pizza place, nigga. Nah, you got some jokes down. We down. have local pizza places, but we don't get crazy. What's the twenty four hours jump? Off of uh, Christian. You talking about Ashanti's? It's down near the Broad Street. Street. Uh, uh, it's down here by the train station. Oh, that's the um, talking about oh, bottom up. up. Right, right there on that corner. You talking about bottom up or you talking about pizza place? He talking about bottoms up. Pizza place on the corner. Right? corner. You tell me it's like in the triangle you on? Yeah, it's right there on the corner. Yeah, right there. I don't know what you're talking about. Nah, it's not about it. It's up. It's up. 
on the corner, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, 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 they definitely got some fire. Dude. Like when you, so, when you yeah, like East Main Street, street like yeah, when you, you, you got that light to either yeah. go downtown, like go to the south, or it's go, it's it's right. Like, it's the light. It's the light. When you go past the light, you under the, the highway, right? Yeah, yeah. That's that's a piece of place. Yeah, that's a piece of place is good. Yeah, I used to be like yo. It's over there, like that, on the side of the uh, cafe, yeah. that side of the main. It's on the side of the local cafe, yeah. that side of the main. Shit, I got me They go by the slice. Anything that sell by the slice, pizza wise, they typically snap. Facts. They typically snap. Oh, yeah, it'd be One chocolate. It'd be decent. It'd be decent. I got to toast that bottom. I got to fold in. Get that fold in. It's a plate. Yeah. We do a lot of soul food and uh, we got good barbecue here. Yeah. Sure, who, who the best mainstream pizza chain? Uh, I feel like we talked about this before, but um, <laughs> I don't know. But mainstream? I had to go Papa John. I like Domino's. Domino's snap, bro. I'm not going to turn Domino's down, but if it's preferential, I got to go Pop. So Papa John ain't been, ain't been, ain't been yeah. in in a minute. <laughs> It's something about that sauce, bro. That sauce. But you know what Papa John got? They they they, they fuck it. They be doing that crust and that Domino's shit. cheese crazy. <laughs> Domino's is, is definitely. Uh, it's something about the the I'm gonna rock with Domino's. I'm gonna rock with you on that, Joe. I'm definitely rock with Domino's. For for real, for real, I'm gonna rock with Little Caesar because they cheap and all. <laughs> Hey, you can't go rip you on a good day. They got garlic sauce. They got a large piece from Little Caesar, six dollars. Extra pepperoni. Anywhere else? They only eleven dollars. Right? America's nah, most best. More than eleven. Six dollars. Might be thirteen. Five dollars. Five dollars. Bruh, no, bro. You cannot beat that. Little Caesar, bro. Right. And I was asking myself, I was like, bro, Little Caesar's ain't even got a. You get three of them bitches for a price of one. Little Caesar's ain't even got a price of one. Bro, facts. 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 They got no pieces. Yeah, like, they got, they got like four. Bread stick. They got four pieces, nigga. Four. <laughs> Maybe the, five. They, got the, they uh, just got they cheese got the, sticks. What's the, uh, they the, just the did. Box. Uh, the wings. They got the wings. Lunch box. They got the square pieces. Nah, the square pieces. Oh, the meat dish. Yeah, they got that. Yeah, deep dish. Yeah, they got that. Yeah, deep dish. Yeah, they got that. Yeah, yeah, deep dish. I mean, but that's just, that's just like a, a, a style. style. Yeah, it's just like a style. I'm talking about like legit, like toppings. Like, nigga got pepperoni, sausage, ham. Bacon. They don't even got bacon on thing. That's it. These niggas don't, don't do no chicken. Yeah, they don't got chicken. They don't do nothing else. I think they got Supreme. They got, yeah, they, they got Supreme, you feel me? And then they do pineapples. It's that five dollar box, bro. How you make pineapples when you got chicken? They give you a whole pizza for five dollars. Yeah, you can't beat that. Extra right. pepperonis for six kept them in the game. Bro, that shit convenient. The bro. only time that and the only time that shit really get nasty is when it's cold. Yep. Yeah. If you don't you let it get cold. Yeah, so that's, that's a mess. If you just don't get that when you first get it, yeah. are you good? good. Imagine what your stomach's saying when you get cold. <laughs> like, oh, no. Like, oh, <laughs> why? Three hours ago, man. Bro, bro, Lil Caesar, I'm gonna rock with Lil Caesar. Fuck me up. I'm gonna rock with Lil Caesar, bro. Yeah, they've been around so long. I was, talking about, I was talking about taste, though. Red bread ain't good piece of cake. Look, I mean, look, 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 look. I was just saying, I was saying, I was talking about. <laughs> it ain't good piece of cake. I'm going to say, Lil Caesars is the they best. They don't have the best taste, bro. Come on. I, no, no, I'm not saying taste. You said it was the best. It ain't good piece it's of cake. Lil Caesars is the, the, the best piece of French, mainstream piece of franchise you can go to and get a piece of from, bro. Lil Caesars, bro. You can't beat Lil Caesars. Like, ain't nothing you going to tell me. I'm like, bro, Lil Caesars. It ain't go good. Ahead. Can't eat a and and you know what's crazy? That is a that is that's a very big like point when you eat pizza because you should be able to eat pizza anytime. Oh, yeah. Anytime you should be able to eat pizza. indubitably. And I ain't gonna lie, to code, Papa John's don't do be hitting. That's why I'm picking pizza. But Domino's don't do too. You can pick a Papa John slice up. Don't yeah, look, man, I, I'm not gonna lie. That sauce. Let's see if disgusting. Bang. <laughs> After after you let that season set for that hour, that joint If you live thirty minutes from that little season, you better eat that bitch on the way to on the, the way to the crib. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch didn't hit you. Better eat that bitch on the way to the crib. That box better stay hot. Cheese, uh, cheese, not even hot. white no more. Cheese and browned out. Baby's crying because I don't even want it no more. You don't make them eat it. 
before they go to bed. Yeah, yeah. Look, man, but pizza still. stand just I, out like that. That's why that bitch called hot and ready. Mama, why the cheese look like this? It's, it's, it's hot and ready to be eaten. Not yeah. hot and ready to let cool down. Yeah. Hot, and it's, hot and ready to. It's party. hot and ready to. Yeah, it's hot and ready to get. He ain't never back. had to do that. Fold with a season. ready. And you should <laughs> put it in the microwave to get it hot. You never had to do that. If his head. I first off, first off, first off. Little Caesars is like I'm saying, but bro, that's what I'm saying. It's the best commercial piece you can get. That joint is it's like, five dollars in every hood. Yeah, you <laughs> so that that joint, win, that's bro. why they can never sleep on the black house. You can feed a family of ten tonight. You can feed a family of ten. I'm tired. Everybody get a slice. We ten stretch dollars. this. If you ever get a slice, stretch. Species. That's fed, Fresh bro. Y'all, y'all ate, then it. Y'all, that's fed, bro. Y'all can go to sleep tonight. Y'all might still be Three hungry. Three niggas got two slices. It would be shit. Not all one slice. Uh, one slice, your body uh, did one percent. Don't, don't be cut the scene. Uh, Real shit, if it's on some survival if shit, we bro. Gotta, if we gotta live bro, for as long as we can and, and we ain't got nothing it, it come but down this pizza, that little slice, <laughs> it gotta be you, bro. We not gonna argue with you about it. I'm like, bro, just eat the little slice. Don't go to sleep around me. Because I'm gonna be angry. Brother, we can switch. Your stomach uh, gonna be angry. If, 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 if it comes down to that, I'll take the small joints. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's between y'all two. Between y'all two. <laughs> Matter of fact, Give it to the nigga that can go, that can go a week without food. We gonna be fine with him. He can go on little, little we'll sticks, right. little sticks where you don't eat. I'm gonna help y'all get eat your shit. Nothing but shit. Like, ah, right, just take his shit. Let me get the water. Let me. <laughs> hey, bro, you start. You, you, you get some You can have my water. The honey roasted nut. I will be dehydrated. I'll be alright. Let me just get some I, I, I drink the sweat out of my sweat. shirt. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Drinking this <laughs> yeah, I'm on straight. You can have my board in there. <laughs> <laughs> you remember? Y'all remember niggas used to do that, bro? Nigga, y'all. I ain't never. <laughs> nah, bro. That's it? You ain't never do that? Drink that sweat? Just sweat? Oh, nah, not, not the sweat from your shirt, but you know, like, it's, it's, it's water in the air. So you know you. Water in the air? Yeah. In your clothes? No, it's in the air. Like, it's just water. This brother the drink his sweat. <laughs> this brother drinks his sweat. I think sweat. I know what you're talking about. I think this nigga drinks his about. sweat. No. Yeah, she yeah. knows exactly what I'm talking about. I'm like, bro, wait, y'all niggas, so you a turn, baller. You turn it into your, water? I seen you put your shirt in the mouth. Yeah. And, and and told you, and, and you was playing I, baller. I you was playing that, ball. I didn't do that and to you drink said, anything. Dude. You I said I was dehydrated. I did that because my, my lips was warm. My code. What? You said I'm dehydrated, and then you put your shirt in your mouth. I would. Yes. What does that mean? You I was biting my to, shirt. Did, I wasn't. You did that I to was, get to get rid of the dehydration. No. Why else would you? I was just biting my shirt. No. Never heard of no shit like that, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm dead ass. That's. Yeah. I'm drinking water too, but it's a it's a dehydration I mean, technique. No, no, it's a dehydration technique. No, it's not sweat, but it's like if you if if I if I start like drinking like not drinking, but if I like bite my shirt right now and then water would come out of it. Not water would come out. Ain't my that shirt, your saliva but, though? Yeah, but it would help. Nigga, that's you drinking your spit, not your air. I mean, but I, nigga said air is water in the that's, air. That's what I meant though. That's if I ever y'all want to twist this joint, that's exactly what I meant. And I done seen tons of niggas do it. That makes sense. When I received it earlier, it, I understand some of it. And that's why I think y'all was doing it. Because <laughs> in the beginning, it sounded like you were drinking your sweat out your shirt. But now that you clarified, that's not the case. So I'm on board. I done seen tons of niggas do it. <laughs> not nah. Not the sweat out of their shirt. Though. Nah. No, not that. Right. Nah. Y'all, y'all so know what exaggeration is, right? 
like, oh, we just all lost about what exagger what is exaggeration. I didn't literally mean I'm I'm drinking the fucking sweat out of my shirt. What is, like are, are y'all niggas just lost in exaggeration here? Like that's why I had to break it down and explain to a, a more simpler level. I was like I was like, I guess these niggas never did this before. That's why I had to break it out. I, I guess y'all never did it, never did it before. But she, no, you know what I'm talking about. Was, you, you know what I'm saying? Like it ain't. That's why I was like breathing through my shirt. Yeah, and 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 then you suck. No, I don't. No, don't I suck. No. Bite. Yeah, just bite. Just bite. bite. Let go. You bite and just. I, ain't no, I just do that to get catch my breath. You I don't do that. I don't do that for air for like liquid purposes, bro. I literally <laughs> no. just do that to catch my breath. Liquid bro. purposes. No, I know what you're saying, but I'm saying that's not what I was doing. I just literally just do that to catch my breath. That's the only reason. And when you do it, you pull air through it, through your teeth. Like you, when you do this, when you do, bro, if you're breathing through your nose and breathe and your mouth open, bro, you pulling air through your mouth and your nose. You're not just. Are you saying the air I'm pulling through here? And then so, and then it has to come out. You either gonna go through your nose or your mouth. Man, I done seen tons of niggas do it. And and it, I'm not denying you. I'm just saying that's this. No, no, I know y'all not, not. I'm just lost in y'all like the exaggeration, like y'all. Think niggas is drinking they sweat like y'all don't. That's that's all that I was saying, man. I'm just like, yeah, bro, I was drinking my sweat through my shirt. It's like, yeah, it was. Again, E X A G E R A T I O N exaggeration. Please put that joint right there. Hey, y'all hilarious! I ain't know what bro was talking about. <laughs> I was looking at Jalen for a reaction, bro. Jalen was lost. I don't think Jalen was paying attention for it. Jalen just was like, he seen you get loud. It was like. <laughs> now I know y'all niggas won't outside. I most definitely know y'all niggas. I thought you was a country boy. I most definitely know you won't outside. You was outside every day. Where? He was outside every day. Around the lake. Not, right, not, around the corner. Oh, oh, and here, oh, up here. Okay. You on outside. None of y'all was outside. He was outside with me. No. You was outside was jerking. Outside. That's what you was outside no. doing. I remember what you that's, was outside doing. That's ninth grade, sir. Okay. I was outside. I what you was outside. Prior. You, sir, was eating little Debbie's. <laughs> Hell up. I was that nigga. <laughs> I used to steal little Debbie's. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my phone? Hell yeah, niggas used to get extra juice and milk and all that. Hey, that's hilarious. Oh no, I seen somebody do that in, in summer school one time. That shit hilarious. Y'all was outside again. Y'all won't drink. Y'all won't drink and splash. Facts. Bro. Facts. That's what about what? from a stick? Like, <laughs> you know what a stick is? I don't give a fuck. You won't drink in your sweat, nigga. You know what a stick is? I don't give a. I don't give a. Oh, what? I, oh, what? I don't give a fuck. I need to get up. I don't give a fuck. All right, man. That's been another episode of Count Dead. Uh, make sure y'all comment, like, subscribe, drink y'all sweat. Don't do that. Don't <laughs> do that. Drink water. That's the last sodium. Don't, Don't forget. Do that. Count up. Count up. <laughs>